What's up everyone, my name is Vincent and today I want to take a look at this linear equation word problem. So take a moment to read through this. And the first thing we could do here is highlight the important information. So we have this guy Frank walking to a store from his home and he walks there at an average rate of 5 miles per hour. He spends one half hour at the store and then his friend gives him a ride home and the friend drives at an average rate of 30 miles per hour. And we're also told here that the total trip takes one hour and five minutes. And we also have here how to write one hour and five minutes as a mixed number, all in terms of hours. So that's going to be useful for later in the question. But what we actually have to answer here is how far is the store from Frank's home? And we're assuming that they are walking and driving the same exact distance. So the first thing we could do here is model this with a diagram. Okay, now that we have the labels in, just take a look at this diagram and you'll see that on the way from home to the store, Frank walks at a rate of 5 miles per hour and then his friend drives him home at a rate of 30 miles per hour. Now the main formula that we need for this question is that the distance that Frank travels is equal to the rate that he's traveling times the time that he's traveling at that rate. So what we need to be mindful of here is that let's say that the time it takes Frank to go from home to the store is T1 hours. So Frank is walking 5 miles per hour for T1 hours. And then Frank is at the store for half an hour and his friend drives him home at this rate for t2 hours. So we're just defining a few variables here so that this will help us set up our equation in a moment. But then if we use this idea that the distance traveled is equal to the rate that you travel times the time that you're traveling, well then the distance from home to the store is going to be equal to 5 times t1. And we could set this equal to 30 times t2 because we're assuming that the driving and walking distances are equal. And the challenge here is coming up with a way to express t2 in terms of t1. Because in algebra, the only way you could solve an equation is when we have exactly one variable in our equation. Because right now there's too many possibilities for what t1 and t2 could be. So then to come up with an expression for T2 in terms of T1, now we have to make use of the rest of the scenario. So we could talk about the total time that Frank is traveling, and Frank is traveling for a total of one hour and five minutes. Now 13 over 12 hours is going to be the most helpful form for this question because this will allow us to do the algebra a little bit nicer. But now we have to think very carefully here. How do we come up with an expression for the total time that Frank is traveling? Well, let's think about it. On the walk from home to the store, that walk took him T1 hours. So, so far, he walks for T1 hours. Then he stays at the store for half an hour. And then he drives home with his friend for T2 hours. So by adding up these three things, that represents the total time that Frank is out of his house. And we could set this equal to 13 over 12. We're going to leave the units out for now, but it's important to know that all of these units here are in hours, so we can in fact set up this equation. So then what we want to do is we want to come up with an equation for T2 so we could substitute it into this formula on the left here. So what we'll do is we'll subtract one half on both sides. But when we subtract it on the right side, we'll write one half as 6 over 12 so that we have matching denominators. So now we have t1 plus t2 equals 7 over 12. So then we could say that t2, subtract t1 on both sides, and this tells us that t2 is equal to 7 twelfths minus t1. And we're going to use this here to set up a equation with just one variable, and then we'll be able to solve for t1. So we have 5 times t1 equals 30 times, and make sure we use parentheses here, t2 is equal to 7 twelfths minus t1. 
So then the rest, we just do the algebra. We're going to distribute. So we have 30 times 7 over 12 minus 30t1. And what we could do is add 30t1 to both sides. And if we look here, 30 over 12, we could divide the top and bottom by 6. 30 divided by 6 is 5, and 12 divided by 6 is 2. So these products here work out to 5 times 7, which is 35 over 2. And on the left side, we have 5t1 plus 30t1, which is 35t1. So then to solve for t1, we could do it a few ways, but one way would be to multiply both sides by 1 over 35. And you'll see that 35 over 35 cancels. Same thing on the left side. And t1 is equal to 1 half. And now we'll write the units in. t1 equals 1 half hours. And if you think about this, what this means in the context of the question is that he walks from home to the store for half an hour. So if we want to solve the question right here, we can. The distance, how far the store is from, the, from Frank's home, we could say is equal to, well, he walks at a rate of 5 miles per hour. And he's walking for a total of one half of an hour. So then the units cancel. Hours over hours cancels out. And then 5 times a half is 2.5. So the store is 2.5 miles from Frank's home. Now we could use this information here to check our work. So just to be sure that our answer is good, let's see t1 equals one half hours. So t2 is equal to 7 twelfths minus a half and one half we could write as 6 over 12. And this is for hours. So that means that t2 is equal to 1 twelfth of an hour and 1 twelfth of an hour is equal to 5 minutes. Which makes sense if we think about the time, how that checks out. The time that he travels, he walks for a half hour, he stays at the store. So we have he walks for a half hour, he stays at the store for 30 minutes, and then he drives home with his friend for 5 minutes. So the 65 minutes, or the 1 hour and 5 minutes, this part checks out. But what should also check out here is the other rate that his friend drives at a rate of 30 miles per hour and his friend is driving for 1 12th of an hour so that's that was t2 is 1 12th of an hour so if we want to check that the distances match well if we multiply 30 miles per hour times 1 12th of an hour see the units cancel and then 30 divided by 12 is also 2.5. So the 2.5 miles appears twice. So that confirms that the store, the distance from the store to Frank's home is in fact two and a half miles. Okay, well this is going to conclude this video on solving linear equation word problems. If you found this video to be helpful, please click the like and subscribe buttons below. It really helps me grow the channel. And if you got any requests, topics that you want me to cover, leave them in the comments section below. And Thank you for watching.